my first test of 5G with Mint Mobile using the iPhone 12. Check out these download speeds up to 300 megabits per second. We're gonna get into it in today's video. Hey, it is Michael, welcome to the channel and I've got a good one for you today. If you're not familiar, Mint Mobile is a low cost cell phone service provider that uses T-Mobile's network and you may have seen the commercials for it. It is owned by actor Ryan Reynolds. This is my third time testing Mint Mobile over the past few years. The first two times were with the 4G LTE network and now this is my first time trying out 5G. Now my primary line is still with Visible. I'll link to my review of that in the description below. But I do really like Mint Mobile for people who want T-Mobile's network for a lower price. The rates with Mint Mobile are good, activation is really easy, and the coverage is dependable if T-Mobile's towers are strong where you live. But today's video is gonna focus solely on data speeds, those 5G speeds with Mint Mobile. I walked around Miami Beach, Florida to run speed tests in various outdoor locations where 5G is available. Places like Lincoln Road, the beach, and even Ocean Drive. So let's get to my results, starting from right outside the T-Mobile store on Lincoln Road. Now, while I run these tests, you'll see the download speed and the upload speed. The ping or latency will also be shown on the screen. I'll focus mostly on the download speeds because that affects most of the activities that we do on our phones, like streaming video and music, surfing the web, and using our apps. And look at this, up to 300 megabits per second with 5G access on our first test. That is about 10 times the download speeds I used to get with the Mint Mobile on the 4G LTE network. Next is the upload speed, nearly 70 megabits per second, very nice. Now remember this result because I'm gonna circle back to this location for another test later on in our video. Right now, let's keep it moving and we'll go from Lincoln Road. I'm gonna take you down to the beach, just a short walk, it's a cloudy day but we had a cold front move in and dropped it to 80 degrees here in Miami Beach. Yeah, 80 degrees is pretty cool for us. I conducted this test near the Ritz Carlton, so that is the address I plugged in on Mint Mobile's website to confirm 5G coverage. You will also see 5G in the upper right corner of my iPhone 12 screen. Much lower than at the T-Mobile store, but still an impressive 80 megabits per second. Now that would be great if you wanted to download a movie or a TV show to stream while you're sitting on the beach. Moving to the upload speed, that checks in close to 60 megabits per second. Also slower than the previous test, but still very good. And if you had to send any big files over email with your phone, you'll appreciate an upload speed like that. I hate to leave the beach, but next we will head off the beach, not too far though, to Ocean Drive. This area is also much quieter right now because of the pandemic. I glanced down at my phone to confirm 5G access while I was walking, and then I moved to a spot under a tree right across from a bar and restaurant. After I pressed go, here's a look at what happened. You see the download speed jumps to more than 100 megabits per second. Now this is faster than the beach test, just a little bit of a walk away, but slower than the one at the T-Mobile store. The upload speed clocks in just below 50 megabits per second, so that is the slowest performance of the three tests that we have conducted so far, but still not bad. Now, before I went home, I had to walk back to Lincoln Road and the T-Mobile store for one last test. I'm in a slightly different spot, but I wanted to see if I could get another speed test of 300 megabits per second download speed using Mint Mobile. This time, as you can see, it was about half that, closer to 150 megabits per second download speed. The funny thing is, just a couple blocks away from the T-Mobile store, there's an Apple store, and when I was there, I didn't even have 5G access. The place where I bought the 5G compatible iPhone 12, it was only 4G LTE. Now, as I'm sure you know, 5G isn't available everywhere as of the recording of this video, and even in places where it is, it may not be available both indoors and outdoors. You may only get 5G outside. You noticed I did all of my tests outside. In fact, where I live and in many of the residential parts of Miami Beach, only 4G LTE is available. So why don't I run a speed test from where I live right now and we'll see how it goes. I've got my phone right here running the test. I'll get back to that in just a second as I keep talking here. As I was walking around town, I kept glancing down at my phone 
and would see it switch from LTE to 5G and then back from 5G to LTE. Sometimes I would actually be looking at my phone at the very moment when it made that switch. If you want to see if 5G access is available where you live using Mint Mobile, you can go to their website and search for the coverage map. You'll be able to enter your exact address and see whether it'll work indoors, outdoors, or both. And now the results of the speed test that I just did from right here. You may be able to see it on my phone, about six megabits per second. And the funny thing is my phone says in the upper right corner that there is 5G, but on Mint Mobile's website, it says where I live, there's only 4G LTE. Again, some 5G is only outdoors and some indoors. Clearly where I am now, we're still on 4G LTE, and this is on the low end for 4G LTE. But at five to six megabits per second, I can usually still watch a video or stream music without buffering, but I would really like to see speeds a little bit better than that, even at 4G LTE. So while we're here, why don't I just show you, I pulled up a video on my blog, this is a YouTube video, and if you are thinking about signing up for it's playing the video just fine, and that is well, with the, the right. around six megabits per second. So even with that low download speed of around six megabits per second, some of the basic tasks that I use my phone for, like streaming video, music, surfing the web, using my apps, it still works pretty well. And obviously, if there is no 5G available where you live, there is no reason to rush into buying a 5G compatible device like the iPhone 12 or moving to a low cost cell phone service provider that has 5G access like Mint Mobile. And I'll also throw in this, even if 5G access is available where you live, if you're happy with your current data speeds on 4G LTE, well, that's another reason why you may not need to be among the first to try out 5G. The longer you stay with your current device, you will be able to save money because you need to have a 5G compatible phone like the iPhone 12 in order to use 5G access on a carrier that supports it. Some final thoughts now, and overall, I'm impressed with the results from Mint Mobile on the 5G network. From my experience, I've been testing low-cost cell phone service providers for a few years, more than a dozen of them. Mint Mobile has always been near the top, I'd say the top five, and nothing has changed with my most recent test. It is one of my favorites. You can learn about some of my other favorites for cheap cell phone plans. I'll link to a resource on my website in the description below. And if you've put Mint Mobile's 5G network to the test, run some speed tests and let me know the results in the comments below. I'm curious to see what speeds people are getting in different parts of the country. Remember the download speed to beat 309 megabits per second from outside the T-Mobile store. So if you found this video helpful, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel. I talk a lot about cheap phone plans, streaming TV, credit cards, and general money tips Everything I do here is to help you save more of the money that you make. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time right here. Take care.